check if we are able to create a decent directory using this free Google model, which is the Gemini tree flash preview. As you know, we can get passive income by creating directories. You'll see right here, I've got several directories approved in Google AdSense. Disclaimer guys, they don't earn that much, so don't get disappointed, but there's passive income coming in every day just by doing display ads. So as you can see, one of my directory, I just submitted an application because I can see a good growth of traffic, this Reiki AU directory as I observe the Google Search Console. So these directories, I think a two, three month old directory and we can see a nice improvement in the traffic and the impressions. So I decided to apply a Google AdSense to see whether we can get approval. I really let you know, guys. As you can see, that's submitted just yesterday. I have a full tutorial on how you can easily get approval in Google AdSense with your directory websites. As you can see, I've got six directories approved by a Google AdSense. So the full tutorial or full step-by-step -step instruction I am linking a video down below if you're interested to kind of follow that. So this is how it's going to look like. For example, this Toilets Australia directory. Let's open this. This is how it's going to look like once you completed the approach. And you will have the display ads from Google AdSense in your website. As you can see right here, they're all displayed nicely. And you will be earning from display ads daily when you get organic traffic from Google. So again, guys, they don't earn that much. I still suggest you put affiliate links. You sell products in your directory. That's where you can earn more. So this one is more like a passive income, but doesn't earn that much. So I'm going to show you a simple process on how we can start a new one. And then I'll be showing you how to host that. So to begin, download this local version of uh, WordPress, which is local WP. This is for you to run WordPress in your local computer before you put it in the server. So once you have that, this is how it's going to look like. So we will be adding a new site. So click continue. Now, before you do this, you have to be decided on the type of directory you're going to create. I always use a GFA scraper to get listings or to get the data that I put in the directory. So for example, my directory is all about astrologer or clothing store, tourist attraction, personal trainer, travel agency. So you just choose, you can go to listing categories overview and here are some ideas you can get as your directory. And then once you decided your directory, you can scrape them and scrape the country. For example, you want to go to United States or in my case, I always create a directory of days in Australia. So let's try one here. One example is this travel agency that I scraped before. So I scraped 50 listings just for this demo. So let me download this. So once you scrape using GFA Scraper, this is how it's going to look like. It's a clean data that you can actually import easily into your WordPress, which I'm going to show you. Even you have thousands of this or hundreds of this, it won't take much time for you to import and create a beautiful directory out of this data. Now, since it's just 50 listings, so we will be doing this as an example. Before you do this, you have to clean this a little bit, but not too much. You just need to go to the address info region column because some of these may have shortened version. For example, this MO, it's a shortened version state. So we want them to be full since uh, are just 50 listings. So that doesn't matter. We don't need much cleaning, but just in case you are creating a thousand listings, you need to make the state in full name. So your directory will appear nicely. Now to do that easily, we will enable the filter right here. And then here, arrange this ascending. So we'll look at this. You can now easily see which are the shortened state right here. This one is MO. So you can have it the full name just like that. All right. So you can go through the listing and save it. Make sure you save this. Now we go to the next step. Since we decided the travel agency, so we can continue setting this up travel agency in the US, for example, and then click on continue. Wait, this is just our local environment. We will be uploading this in the live server once we're all satisfied. Click on continue. So once it's set up, click this to enable the one click admin. So you don't need to type credentials when you go to WP admin dashboard. So when I click this, now we're running the local WordPress in your computer. It's time for us to create the custom theme and then import these listings. I have this one from directory maker that you can use to prompt this to any LLM. In our case, we will be using this Gemini tree flash preview, but the best model to use is Sonnet 4.5, the God Anthropic model. Most of my directories, just like this one, they're created using Sonnet 4.5. You won't have any issue, but just for the sake of uh, testing whether this free model can create a decent directory, let's go ahead and let's try this. Open a VS code. If you don't have a VS code, it's an editor where we can put the prompt and easily go vibe coding. Take this VS code. So it opens up these WordPress files. Now download this extension of VS code, which is Kilo code right here. This is where we're going to put the prompt that I showed you earlier. So we grab a copy of this, paste that in a blank notepad, just like this. Now we're going to fill up this iteration variable. So folder name, just have anything travel agency folder and then site title will be travel agencies in US. 
just an example custom post key so this will be the name of the post type we just have it travel agency so no space and singular form taxonomy this is the category so we will categorize it based on the state so just put it as state that's why we need to importantly make this addressing for region in proper format that's going to be the categories now team name just have it travel agency gemini tree flash all right and google category will just be travel agency country united states and color palettes you can leave this as you can remove that it's optional let the gemini model decide the color palette that's it we're ready to go so copy this and go to vs code now you can paste that right away here and start doing the vibe coding but first make sure the configuration is correct click the configuration icon right here and then select the api provider google gemini and get api key so you can do that by going to your ai studio and here you will see the get api key and here you can create your api key as you can see i'm using free tier now i'm gonna copy the api key that i set up earlier and make sure paste that right there and save then done all right we're ready to vibe code this and let's see whether we can create a decent one let's go okay now we're accepted so we'll just wait for a few minutes all right as you can see it's all completed i'm not sure if this will work guys because most of the time gemini cheap models cannot get this prompt in one go that's why i always suggest use cloud sonnet 4.5 that's the best one that follows in just one from this directory maker that we have but if we can get a cheap model to make it work then that's also a good option for us so you'll see right here there are a few files that's been created i'm still not convinced if this can work so we're gonna test this we go to wp admin and go to appearance themes so we should see the new theme right here we can activate this there you go uh, there's no issue but before we see the directory how it looks like we need to install a few plugins so first go to add plugin now search acf we're gonna have to install this so our custom fields will be created correctly then activate that but the second plugin this is the plugin we will use to upload our listing right here so this is available in the description below you just need to download it click on upload plugin and click on browse after you download from the link below and then click on install all right activate the plugin all right now we're ready to import before that uh, go to acf don't forget this step these are all important that's why you need to watch this carefully go to field groups so usually there sh is a sync right here since i'm already convinced that it's gonna work the first time so we'll just mention i don't see the sync in acf all right so that it will fix the json format i think there's just malform in the json provided here because this will create this acf json that has all the fields so there may be some valid formatting which we will ask gemini to fix that it says task completed let's refresh this still i don't see the fields available now in this case let's switch quickly to a better model which is the gemini pro right here it's a bit expensive but just to fix the uh, things that uh, gemini tree flash created i uh, will ask to fix the and check the json format why the sync is not available in acf let's do this it doesn't work since i'm in a free tier so i'm doing a little bit of a cheat right here i'm just switching to god 4.5 just to fix the issue we just want to make this run so as you can see right there god sonnet 4.5 easily found the issue in our json so let's see if it's gonna fix that look at that looks like it's fixed now when we refresh this there you go that's what i'm talking about sync available and then we're gonna import this all right and then the next step is to import the data so go to tools you see this cell sx importer we're gonna browse the file that we fixed earlier which is right here it upload in fars and then select the travel agency custom post type and here we just need to configure a few things in advanced custom fields you don't have to touch anything these are mapped correctly by default just these wordpress call fields now in the content choose attributes and then in the featured image choose main image guys i'm not confident that this model will make this prompt work in instantly in just one go using gemini tree flash preview so as you can see i did a little bit of cheat by switching to sonnet 4.5 anyway let's continue and then here in the taxonomy mapping this is where you're gonna map the address info region to date and we have the children category which is the city right there and select state that's it we can start import and there you go our 50 listings have been successfully imported now it's time for us to check the directory go to visit site and looks decent using gemini tree flash looks good the only thing we needed to fix was the json formatting overall it looks so we'll go to kentucky it's loading the city as well all right and these are the popular travel agencies in united states look at this it's all looking good let's check one of the 
listings. Okay, that's the error. Now to fix this issue, copy this. We can now go back to the free version, which is Google Gemini, and then the Google Gemini tree flash preview. Save that. All right. Now paste this one, the error that we copied from here. All right. Looks to be we reached the quota. That's how you're going to do that. Anyway, it looks okay. Although Gemini tree flash has quota to complete the directory, which is not uh, looking good. Too many requests. Okay, so he got a issue. But at least the front page we can see right here. So that's how you're going to do that. If you use the Sonnet 4.5, it will be smooth. So you can just do configuration, choose control pick and Sonnet 4.5, and then prompt this. It'll easily give you instant directory. Just like uh, how we have this right here. And then once you get enough traffic, just like this. And should be at least two months old, okay? Will be at least two months old. Apply for Google AdSense. I think uh, that's about it for now. So this prompt is available in the link below. And I use Jeeva Scraper to get these things for all my directory. See you in the next one.